August 2016 monthly view plan with me. Um, and I actually have two that I'm putting up for this month because I have two separate kits that I really liked. Um, so I'm going to put them in both of my planners. Um, so this is number one. Um, and this is a kit from um, Miss Sabine Elise. Yes. Um, so it's her August pineapple one. She had the pineapples and then she also had a floral one which was gorgeous but um, I I was buying the, she had like a kit in it too so I just decided to save the kit for my birthday week because it has cakes on it. It's like floral and cakes and cute. Um, so I'm going to save that for my birthday. And I just like this one better. Like it's still uh, summer to me. So I just decided on this one. So let's go ahead and get into it. And lay down our top strip. So I do have two planners. If you count my personal, my Webster's pages that I just bought, then I have three. Um, I did also have a horizontal, but I am selling it <laughs> because um, it's just not for me. I don't need that many planners. Um, so I just decided to try to sell it. Um, the horizontal one I was going to use for like more journaling purposes and I realized that I could do that in the other Erin Condren that I have, my other vertical. So that's why I was like, I do not need all of these planners. Um, <laughs> it's like way too many and I am getting rid of it. So that is cute. <laughs> um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna lay down these full um, day boxes. And I like to do these on the dates that aren't actually in the month. Sorry y'all, I get really excited when stuff looks cute. <laughs> so, uh, don't judge me. So I think in this monthly view, I also bought some Sweet Kawaii Design um, Celebrate the Day itty bitties. And I think I'm going to put that in here because the kit that I'm using in my other um, planner, she put in holidays. Actually, it probably wasn't only my request because I think when I asked, she had said that like a few other people had asked for it too. But she um, laced some logos to my other kids by she like reformatted her monthlies to add them so um, I don't this one doesn't have any like extra holidays but hers does so that's why I'm thinking I'm probably gonna use the sweet kawaii designs one in here so that is looking adorable. Okay, so those are down. What is going on in August? What is going on? And let's see, in July, my last payday would have been the 29th, so it'll be the 12th and the 26th. Do I have that in my phone? Because I feel like I need to make sure that that is the right days before I put down sticker. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead and lay these little payday guys down. I think I'm going to do these at the top. Because that is a pretty big deal. Getting paid. I think I'm going to do the blue and the green. Or the blue and the pink. Okay, so paydays are down. Um, what do I want to put in my sidebar? So, how I did my sidebar in 
July. I kind of loved, um, just because I really like the way that I did my birthdays, to me, like, this is better than having to put, um, you know, birthdays down for each, like, person. So, I think I'm going to do it kind of like that again. So, I think I'm going to leave goals and to-dos on there. It's kind of pretty. Or I can cover it. I'm going to put in an... I need um, somebody to make a kit that has a quote box for the sidebar. Okay? A monthly kit that has a quote for the sidebar. Put my order in. My request, I guess, is better. So there are those down. And let's put down... Reminders and goals. I don't really want work down there. Reminders and goals. Cool. All right, and then. I am going to put, she put in this one, like a cute little birthday, birthday guy. So I think I want to do like this and then have this in like that. That look all right. I guess it'll work. <sighs> okay, so let's put bills down on days I know I got bills, and I know that I have bills on the first and the fifteenth. double up on the bill ones normally because I have a lot of bills. Sixth and the tenth. Let's look back at July. Seventh. Yep. Yeah. I think I'll just put the twenty seventh down, and then like other ones come, you know, when they come, it's kind of like how it is. But okay. So this month kind of has a lot going on. Oh, there were little birthday guys, or little birthday cakes. So I'm gonna put another one right there. I think I might actually peel this up. Yes, thank you for not being a butt. And then in here I'm just gonna write birthdays on the side. Okay. Is this way too zoomed out? Um, okay. So I feel like there's kind of a lot going on in August. So in her last kits, she used to like kind of cut these up. Um, almost so that they were like little washies um, and now they're just long so like in case you have something going on like a trip um, I'm guessing you could just cut them or um, kind of like whatever you want to do so um, hubby is gone 
the sixth and the seventh. Some people hate that hubby, but oh well, get over it. So I'm gonna do this where I can lay down. Should I have got my exacto knife? Oh yeah. Saturday and then also on Sunday. So for all of you out there that don't like the use of the word hubby, that is when my husband will be out of town. I'm gonna stick that back on this paper. Cool. And then I'm gonna go ahead and on the 6th, put another one of these little pineapple guys, like that, and there are little asterisks. I'm going to put that right in the middle, so that tells me something important is happening. So we have those down, and then boop, boop, dee -doop. the fourteenth is my baby shower. Uh oh! So what colors don't I have in this side? The pink. Even though I should probably put a blue because it's a baby boy. I'm going to put this down in this day for my baby shower and let's put a heart. Let's put a blue heart. Wow, that is soon. <laughs> um, and then um, the 27th we are doing a baseball game a green gonna go watch the Clippers with some friends from work let's put that down and do I have anything that's like a fun thing no so let's just do another asterisk there I think my sister's shower got moved. So I think she's on the 28th now. But regardless, I have maternity pictures on the 28th too. So there is like, like this is a big month. <laughs> um, and let's do a yellow. Another, let's do a check mark. I was gonna do another like heart or asterisk, but I'll do a heart for my sister's baby shower. There, you can actually see that. Yeah, my sister and I are both due in September. She's due the 21st and I'm due the 30th. <laughs> so our showers are fairly close. Um, I need to check to see. Yes, it is the 28th that they moved it. So it wasn't me the 27th. And let's get Samantha a blue. She's also having a little baby boy. I'm so excited to be having a baby at the same time as my sister. This is gonna be so much fun. To like see them grow up together and all of that. Get out of 
out of here. There's like a little bit of sticker. There. Thank you. Has anyone cut through this? I'm kind of scared. Okay, now it's good. Okay, is that all for like the August monthly things that I know of right now? I think so, guys. Is there no date? There's no like actual holidays that you have off. back out. Okay, so for now that looks like what I'm writing in. Um, there's a possibility that I will go back in and um, print some more of these for myself because um, I like to put those down on my build due date so I know what they are. Um, I use this page a lot. I use this my monthly a lot. Some people don't, um, but I definitely do. So I like to go in and I like to write all of these out. Um, and honestly, if these like checklist boxes were longer, I'd probably use them to put my bills on the side um, to like correspond with bill do bill do bill do. Maybe I'm, I might just do that underneath the birthdays for this month because did I write in this? <laughs> and I always see people people like do people actually use their perpetual calendars? I do because I have the worst memory in the world. So I think that's all I'm going to put down for now. Um, but this is what I have left. So I have um, a few of the, these little washi guys, which I might double up. No, I used that. That's cute. Um, so I have a few of these little washi guys. Um, I have some more bill dues, a work bills and school header, which I might put bills down here, like I said, and just write out my bills. Um, two of the checklist boxes. I guess I could layer those. Oh well, I don't know. <laughs> um, and then I have um, a bunch of little icons, a paid three paydays, two vacations, a birthday, date night, and movie night. So that is all she wrote for this month. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give that a thumbs up. And if you really, really liked it, and you want to see more Plan of Me's, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, um, and we can be friends. All right. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later. Okay, wait. No, I lied. I'm going to put down my Celebrate the Day itty bitties from Sweet Kawaii Design as well. So we have National Coloring Book Day. And she put hers on, like, vinyl. They're so nice. I'm going to put this little guy down here on the second. National Underwear Day is the 5th, so I'm going to put that down there. National Fresh Breath Day is the 6th. I'm going to put him right there. Um, the 7th is Friendship Day. Aww. I'll have to make sure I call my friends. Um, vinyl record day on the 12th. I love these. These are so much fun. National garage sale day. I love garage sales, man. I better be able to find some on that day, too. August 15th is cupcake day. Oh, my gosh. Black cat appreciation day. It's the 17th, apparently. August 20th is World Honeybee Day. So we have a bunch of flowers that we planted last summer. And there are just bees everywhere in my front yard. And you know what? Normally I'd be like scared. But I'm like, you do your thing, guys. Because I want my flowers to stay there. Pluto Demoted Day, 24th. National Toilet Paper Day, 26th. And National Toasted Marshmallow Day is the 30th. Come on. Okay, those are cute. I will definitely be buying um, more of those. So that was Sweet Kawaii Designs um, ce Celebrate the Day Itty Bitties. And I like the Itty Bitties because they don't take too much space on my 
um, monthly, which like I just said, I really use. Okay, I'm back one more time with this layout. I know, I'm like, I said I was done, but I just wasn't. So I did go ahead and pull up those and, and switch them up um, to make my little bills sidebar. So I went ahead and like wrote in um, each bill um, and then when it's supposed to be paid. So, um, and then I went back through Ooh. and I laid bill due stickers on those days. So, um, cause like I said before, I use my monthly a lot. I reference it a lot when I am planning my actual week. So, um, it's nice to be able to like come back through here and be like, um, if I'm looking at the week of the 7th through the 13th and I'm looking, I'm like, oh, there's a bill due the 10th, Chase. So then I can go in my week and I can put that sticker down um, on the 10th for Chase. But um, that way it's just like not so bulky in the actual days, just lining them up on the side. So I really like that. And if she keeps her um, kits the way that she's been doing them, which I think she probably will, um, then that is good for me. I will keep on doing them this way. And I wanted to like move this up, this little birthdays guy, but I realized that like I already wrote birthdays, so I really couldn't do that. Um, but I still might lay, I have like one more checkbox that isn't ruined to put underneath here to put like important dates um, if I wanted to, but the, the, like for important dates because I do actually use this, um, I would just actually lay them down on the days. There's kids carrying a pizza outside. Um, so yeah, and I realized that I didn't like actually f fill anything in and I don't know why, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that too. date night with my husband every month so I'm gonna go ahead and get a for sure day for him oh, and you know what I almost feel like I should put down Kendall is having a beer and diaper party the same day as my sprinkle shower so I'm gonna go ahead and put that down too I won't be there but there'll still be stuff to do for it For his, I'll put an asterisk. Or maybe the cake. Oh, I should put the cake on mine. Oh well. Here we go. I am gonna guess. I'm gonna lay this down until he answers me. <laughs> I might just put goals back in there. And I don't know what we're doing yet, but we're doing something. Do vinyl stickers come up easy? Oh yes, they do. Wow, I got really excited about that one. So I like how they're kind of staggered. That's kind of cute. I really would like to put this one up a little higher. Wow, that is so easy. I think I know now why people love vinyl stickers. So I surely do. This is cool stuff. Okay, I think that's cool. All right. Okay, I promise this is the last time you'll see this unless you follow me on. Um, Instagram, because then you'll probably see it in my Instagram. Alright guys, bye. <laughs>